Mike Cardano with Roto Experts in the Fantasy Sports Network, here to talk to you about sleepers that you can go ahead and add to your fantasy football rosters right here in the middle of the season that can make a real difference. Now, we're not talking about roster depth. We're not talking about bi-week fill-ins. We're talking about players that you can start plugging into your lineups right now and over the next few weeks that will be true difference makers. In this case, the one we're going to talk about today is somebody that can turn into a wide receiver three, or perhaps even a wide receiver two. Now, the 2014 draft was one that saw five wide receivers go in the first round and seven more go in the second. The 12th overall selection by the New York Giants was Odell Beckham Jr. out of LSU, a 5'11", 195-pound speedster. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the quotes from scouts at the time Beckham was taken. Beckham has track star speed. Beckham has that outstanding suddenness that you like to see. Odell has really, really, really good hands. What helps Beckham is that he has really big hands. Now, it's not that Beckham didn't come to the NFL with any warts. Scouts also noted that Beckham was a little raw when it comes to route running, and that he gets by on his athleticism more than being very precise. But let's face it, how many wide receivers enter the NFL as truly polished route runners? Here are some of the things that scouts had to say about Odell as training camp got underway. I think Beckham is in the right offense. They're running the Green Bay stuff, and that's perfect for him. He'll do well. Odell Beckham Jr. was forced to start his career off by having to sit out the first four games with a hamstring problem, leaving him off the radar of many of those that were looking for a rookie wide receiver on draft day that could step right in and produce. Sammy Watkins, Kelvin Benjamin, Brandon Cooks, and Mike Evans have all started from day one with varying success to date for fantasy owners. But Beckham slid through the cracks. Now, his first game as a pro against the Falcons last week, Odell was targeted five times with four receptions for 44 yards and a touchdown. He's back to 100% from a health standpoint, and it will be all systems go for an increased role against the Eagles this week after playing in just over 50% of the snaps in his debut against the Falcons. You can expect to see Beckham play in all three wide sets, and that's the Giants' new base offense under offensive coordinator Ben McAdoo. As for this week, expect Beckham and Ruben Randall to see plenty of Carrie Williams and Bradley Fletcher on the outside, while Victor Cruz works on slot cornerback Brandon Boykin. Now, Beckham was owned in 3.6% of ESPN leagues last week. This week, people have started to pick him up a bit, not that many, as of Friday morning, his ownership on ESPN sat at 6.7%. On NFL.com, Odell has seen a similar increase in his ownership, but he was still only owned in about 9.5% of leagues. On Yahoo, he's jumped a bit, but still only owned in 33% of leagues. And on CBS, where they apparently love themselves some Odell, he's 51% owned, but he's still out there for about half of you. So go ahead and get yourself some Odell Beckham Jr. for the rest of the season, and you can thank me later. Good luck in your week six, everyone, and have a wonderful weekend. For Roto Experts and the Fantasy Sports Network, I'm Mike Cardano.